Alright, welcome back. So we're playing through Gauntlet Slayer Edition on the PS4. Uh, we are now to the boss of the caves. It's the Beast Slayer. I think it's the Beast of Orox. Uh, playing through his Valkyrie. As a reminder, we got the Shield Throw, the uh, Mark of the Commander, where we summon three Valkyries. And we have the Ring of Mirrors, which allows us to summon illusions. So we got a nice little army going. And this bad guy, he's like a big old crocodile type thing. Um, and he just summons little armies of minions. Um, so, main thing for this guy is he, he mainly just travels in a straight path. So keep your distance. Um, you can line up the minions. You can have him charge at you. And just let him take out all of his own... Uh, his own minions. Uh, main thing is, don't kill your own food. But we should be good. <laughs> Potion before I inadvertently destroy. It. Yeah, look Lattes. at that ugly guy. One ugly creature. I agree. Disgusting. Alright, so here's his minions. As you can see, he can kill his own people. Travels in a straight path. Just keep something. Got a good distance on him. So what I'm going to be doing is pretty much just uh, keep letting him kill his own people. Obviously, they respawn. I'm just running around showing you how this works at this point. Uh, but eventually, I'm just gonna choose R1 and uh, L1. And this one, we can't hurt him. Uh, so it's sort of like you know, how we couldn't hurt the big statue guy, the first boss, uh, unless we lined up the circles. This is the point where you're similar thing, you can't hurt him until now. It's returned. R1 isn't quite back yet, so just keep cheesing it, keep the distance, shouldn't be an issue. There we go. We'll let him take these guys out. And then we'll drop, oh, no. oh, come on. Not at all what I wanted to do. <laughs> there we go. I was like, please do not give me one more round. Come on, just end it. Alright. So there we go. We got the uh, Beast of Aurox down. And we uh, got our second shard. We go collect all the gold. There's the shard. Here's a little bit more up here. 
All right, woo. Not too bad. Probably could attack that on to the last episode, but that's okay. All right, whole bunch of bonuses there. So obviously, once again, we beat it on normal mode, which means we also get the easy mode bonus, and then we get the 8,000 for killing the boss of the caves. Keep with the Demon Cult. I like that name. Alright, so, you know, next thing we're saving up for is the 54,000 for uh, upgrading our relic. What's that do? Gets us three illusions instead of, I think, what do we have? Two right now, I guess? Uh, probably, since you upgrade to three. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go for it. Tip, don't drink and drive. Well, thank you. I do appreciate that tip. Not sure it's relevant to this game, but... Alright, so it looks like we got some new uh, some Any hell, I will persevere to deliver what was promised. Alright, so obviously we got that little... Fanboy of Cultists. death. I it's way too short. I think I'll hold on to this. Alright, so new bad guy. Kill him. He uh, has a delay period, then he blows up, shoots it, uh, shoots the little balls of energy off in uh, four directions. I don't know if we can reflect those back, but we're gonna have to try it. So that is the end of the level right down there. So close, so far. Alright. This is creepy as heck. Just 
inconspicuously carry this big old barrel. Okay. They're coming. survive that. Alright, so the new gimmick here is we're trying to open up all the pathways so that this all flows, and then that'll open up doors. Alright, so what happened there was the shaman like locked onto me. What the bad. heck? <laughs> so the shaman locked onto me. There's a countdown of sorts. And if you don't hit him in that time, hit or kill, I'm not quite sure. Um, oh, come on. I was clearing with square. Uh, then you get hurt. Uh, he doesn't have to have line of sight. I was hoping there was distance. Alright, so here we go. He's locked on. All I had to do is hit him once. And that takes care of him. Room if you need a ticket. Oh god. Just walked right into that one. <laughs> it really came out of nowhere. Part of the problem is as you keep hitting them, they start fanning out. So then you have to move slightly to keep them all within uh, striking distance. And yes, I could use my triangle to just go through it, but I want to take this explosive with me. Oh god, set it there. <laughs> More ways. Oh god. Get to the shaman. Dang it. Alright, so he got me. He 
use my own explosive against me. Come on. <laughs> Couldn't get through the waves fast enough. Back in the fight with blade and shield. Die. Just <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> we lost our crown. Luckily, it's easy. I can't say early enough. We're about halfway through the level, but uh, we'll get another. I have faith. Shaman, doing that crap. Get out of here. Get out of here. Got him. Oh, crap. Alright, so plan is jump over, throw R1. Our best showing. <laughs> oh, but there's the crown. There we go. Thank you, I game. I had to. All right. So again, not our best showing, but uh, at least we did well against the boss on the last level. And we're going to here. Just whips up to the north. And there it is. All right. So it wasn't pretty. We made it for, through our first first level of hell. All right, I'll take it. Give me that crown bonus. Whoop. And four thousand cumulative damage. Uh, I'd like to think that I took about half of that in this uh, this level. Not good. But all right, we'll take it and we'll call it there. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned. Uh, next, uh, next up is the pathway. I don't know. For some reason, I'm getting some eerie death vibe off of that one. Seems like all the the death levels are like one word. All right. Well, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.